Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up Gemma begs Dev to look into things after realizing Bernie has been lying about where she has been Bernie collapses when Dev confronts him she acknowledges that Zodiac or simply Zack was her other son and was placed in foster care she is desperate to locate him after he was later adopted and given the name Christopher Green Concurrently, Dee Dee answers a call from the CPS, letting her know that they have some updates on Lauren's voicemails. Carla and Nina are informed by Dee Dee about the revealed communications. With her mind racing, Bethany listens. She then finds Lauren's file on Dee Dee's desk after slyly making her way inside the lawyers. Toya discovers an alternative forum for former Altovalent Institute members. When she tries to show Leanne a post she saw, implying that the institute shouldn't be trusted, she finds out it has been removed due to legal issues. Despite Leanne's dismissive attitude, she phones Rowan, who claims that his spiteful ex-wife authored it and that her statements are untrue. Leanne is flattered when Rowan tells her he's been elevated to head of the Northwest Division and extends an invitation for her to have a tour of the institute. Steve also comes across an item today regarding Weatherfield County's intention to honor Tommy Orpington by having a bust of him created. After meeting Demi, Steve starts slandering Tommy. Steve admits to Demi's affair when she asks why he despises him so much. In the end, George apologizes to Glenda and offers her a compromise check for £22,000, expecting that this will put an end to their argument. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.